Hi guys, I just I just got tea into the wrong tube, which shows how non-intelligently I have been designed. Like, I, I remember, I think Imran Hussain also, he wears glasses, so his God wasn't even able to provide him with a working set of eyes. And he's also been shortchanged in the, in the brains department, which is what I'm going to be talking about. Because this time around, I'll take a look at a video recorded in Hyde Park in London, where our favorite LDM clown, Imran Hussein interviews a man, a man, I'll call him the man, and gets horribly confused when asked rational questions. Now, he has to resort to primitive apologetics in the form of presuppositional arguments to maintain any kind of direction here. Now, I, I enjoyed this somewhat, right, as it demonstrates quite nicely how painfully inane and vapid the Muslims' points are. And the man, I'll call him the man, he asks seemingly innocuous, simple questions. But if you think about them, they, they actually have a lot of contents. And that is something uh, Mr. Hussein can't do. And this is why he, I'm actually amazed that they show this, because he, he, he really looks like a complete idiot here. So the, the man asked, I mean, asked, do, do you believe? He says, how would you know if you believed or not? How would you know if you believed or not? Okay, now, this is too much for our poor apologist. He thinks the question is, why do you think what you believe is correct and your God exists? Because that is what he's used to, and that's what he's ready for, and that's what he would like the question to be. But it's not. I was like, like Mr. Smith waiting at the bar for his table in a restaurant, and the hostess announces the table for the Chibovsky party. And he goes, did you say Smith? <laughs> you, know, you get these idiots everywhere. So, Hussein by no means addresses the question, but rattles off his, you know, the usual script like he's been trained to do. We have something called the fitra, which is an innate disposition to recognize God. We have a revelation. So the man tries to get him back on track from, from his fitra rant, but Hussein is unable for some reason to understand what he's being told. And then the man gives up and says, well, I believe everything happens because of everything that happens. I believe everything everything happens because of everything that happens. Another seemingly simple statement, but if you think about it, especially in the context of what is being discussed here, you know, the creation of the universe and things like that, then it makes a lot of sense. Now, Hussein is completely lost now. And just before his head explodes, manages to come out with the with the ancient Aristotelian first cause yeah, argument, so the first words, mover, there is a cause for everything that's which happened? is exactly what the man just said is not applicable. Does Hussein even listen or does he just recite regardless of what answers he gets? He fails to recognize the contents of what the man tells him and now starts lying about something scientific he does not understand. Of course he doesn't understand it, it's science. But he loves talking about science, so he just makes shit up and pretends it's real. And that's his favorite game, it seems, playing pretend. He claims scientists all agree the universe, and now get this, came into existence. <laughs> I mean, this is the most stupid, dishonest, ridiculous, and completely asinine argument. And he uses it. It's my okay, blowing. Amongst the scientists, amongst philosophers, and general people, the universe began to exist. They had a beginning. It came into existence. No. And when the man immediately catches him out, he needs to sidestep and then lie some more, pretending he understands what scientists... I, I, don't, I don't even know what he means by scientists are saying. What models cosmologists are proposing. He doesn't, and it's embarrassingly obvious. Hussein uses expressions like Big Bang without understanding the concept behind the model. And again, quickly sidesteps and makes up more shit when he gets called out. It's something closer to the Big Bang Theory, which is the universe at a particular point came into existence. I, do, I really don't know why they released this video. I mean, it's shockingly bad. But maybe he doesn't even realize how humiliating this is for him. And in his desperation, he finds out, almost crying for now, oh, are you an atheist? <laughs> Are you an atheist? I mean, we're, we're two minutes into the video, and it, it doesn't even start with the beginning of the encounter. And it took him all this time to ask the obvious question. I mean, it's a total failure. The man, however, rejects the term and states his non-belief as such. I mean, it's so cool. He clearly doesn't play the apologist game and gives Hussein no leeway at all. It was brilliant. 
Then the man, the, he, he shows Hussein for the fool he is and forces him yet again to sidestep and just waffle. And the man is having none of that and immediately takes him by the scruff of his neck and shakes him like a naughty puppy. And after three minutes, Hussein now uses the Hamza Tsotsis approach of reversing the owners of proof, demanding to know what reason the man has for not believing a personal creator exists, misrepresenting everything the man has said so far. You know, what are your reasons not to believe in such a being? But the man doesn't fall for this and stares at Hussein in amazement. And you can see he can't believe the level of incompetence he's facing here. I mean, there's a, there's a break, all right? And then Hussein tries his apologetics bag of lies. Once again, he uses expressions like popped into existence and a universe which is fine tuned, whatever that may mean. We have a universe that popped into existence about 13.7 billion years ago, right? This universe is also precisely fine tuned. And all the usual boring nonsense they all come up with. And now Hussein asks how the man can account for all this in his atheism. He's just been told he's not actually considering himself to be an atheist and ignoring that an atheist does not account for anything. <laughs> Boy, Hussein will not understand and you can see the man's patience is, is starting to run out. He gets even more desperate and asks, do you believe in science? Do you believe in science? God couldn't exist. Do you believe in science? You. Um, what, uh, what what's like a jubilee in Believe in science. Science tells us. Science, of science. Science observes. C equals mc squared. Well, what do exactly. you want? Exactly. Science tells us. You know, as those scientists are religious prophets and require prayers to function. I mean, this guy is amazing. And the man sees this, of course, and makes fun of our little apologist, dragging him through the mud and hanging him out to dry. He shows Hussein how stupid and uneducated he is, and Hussein doesn't even realize. It's embarrassing. I mean, I was cringing in my seat, expecting him to realize he was being taken to the cleaners, but he bravely soldiered on, digging himself deeper and deeper into his shit. Stunning. And the man just listens and smiles. You're trying to avoid the point. Well, of course, there you are. You see, you'll say I'm avoiding the point, I'll say I'm answering the point. So I'm asking you a very specific question. Well, I'm, I'm giving you a very specific is, is the universe governed by laws? It doesn't happen to suit your criteria. That's why you're saying that. Okay. I'm going to end this here because it goes downhill even more and, and the other half is just sheer torture. I mean, Hussein starts preaching, does the usual, I'm stupid, therefore God. You know, this, the, the usual routine. Calls this evidence for his God and reaches an absolute anticlimax with a feeble attempt at using the problem of consciousness as a reason to accept his favorite God. Saying that you need a God to taste a banana. And after 15 minutes, the man just, just walks away, bored to death. And that's all anyone can do. And that's what I'm going to do right here. Thanks for your time.